Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! Since last time, or, well, last time, when we got to uh, Eden here, we got access to the Sanctum Labs. Uh, nothing that I'm going to buy here, but I figured I'd just point that out for those who are interested. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, you know, we got access to that shop now, so uh, I figured I'd point that out to you. So. First things first, uh, we got this area that's, well, I'll just tell you, it's kind of shaped like a figure eight. So, I'm going to uh, take the left path first. When in doubt, go left. You could take either path if you want to. They'll both eventually loop around to the other path, and you can get all the treasures either way, but I like going this way. All right, now coming up here, this is one of the big reasons why I have made Fang my leader for using Saboteur against... Well, this is one of the enemies, not the enemy, but... You know, this is one of the enemies where having Fang as a saboteur in the lead is very, very good. So first things first, let's do that. Then go Pain and Fog. Alternate between the two of them, because basically if you can get at least Pain to stick, uh, you can nullify all of its physical attacks. If you can get Fog to stick, so much the better. So there we go. And now let's just get Pain to stick on the guy, because then he can't use physical attacks or magical attacks. That is, if I don't... Oh, there we go if I don't keep on getting my attacks interrupted. So basically, once you get pain and fog on the guy, he's just gonna sit there and take a coffee break. And that makes this guy a lot easier. You probably need to heal if you didn't get those on him. He has a really nasty physical attack, just like that boss we fought back in uh, chapter five there. So yeah, he wasn't the motivation for me making Fang the leader, but he was one of them, so. And uh, the lovely ladies up there are another reason. Again, not the reason. You'll see them later. But anyway, um, let's see. No, I don't need lightning as a saboteur. So let's go with Sabcom Rav. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. They kind of look like lightning there. It's like, what happened? Okay, so first things first. Libra them. There we go. Now, unfortunately, these ladies do have bail. So... Yeah, that could be a little bit of a problem trying to get pain on them, but... Okay, we got the one. Let's go after the other one. If you... Well, there we go. And once you get pain on them, then just go all out. Because, you see, the problem with these two is that they hit really fast. And they have pretty nasty physical attacks. Not to mention, they got Bravera on them. You can tell because you see the two arrows pointing up on the uh, Brave buffing no symbol. Problem. So, yeah, pain can be really useful. Especially if you run into a large group of them. Uh, I Obviously, this wasn't a large group of them, but yeah, I figured I'd just show you here now. And uh, there you go. So yeah, I really like using pain in this chapter. Uh, anything that has Sanctum in the name is susceptible to pain. So that can be really good and make the battle a lot easier. Uh, yeah, we got those ladies again. If the game will load. I love this part of the music. Ah, I just love that. So, yeah. But anyway, back to what I was saying before. Uh, Pain and Fog are really going to be much more useful uh, in the final chapters of the game. So, yeah, I, that's why I really like having Fang in the lead. Because really, an AI-controlled saboteur isn't going to use either of those uh, unless... You know, there's a lot of enemies, so I like being able to control that more directly. But yeah, with Pain and Fog, that's one of the big reasons why I decided to uh, uh, invest in the uh, Calamity Spear for Fang there. Okay, so now we're just about looping around back to where we started. We could have gone to our destination marker if I took the right path at the fork there, but I figured, you know what, let's go over here. And now I think the map will change over. Yeah, because, like, there's an upper level and a lower level here. It kind of loops around and, well, sort of a figure aid. But, well, I figure this is the most efficient way of going around to take all these guys out. There's a lot of three-way battles here, so that's pretty nice. One of the things I like about this area, too, you look at the name of this area, this is called Siren Park. And uh, I think there was an area earlier called Ramu something. There's another area here called Leviathan. You know, they named them after the different uh, Eidolons from previous Final Fantasy games, so that's pretty nice. And some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, where's a good place to uh, grind for CP if you're kind of stuck here? Well, this area around here is actually pretty good. 
uh, if you're stuck here because you know there's a lot of three-way battles so that can be that can make it for you know pretty easy battles I prefer grinding uh, on uh, what is it back on pulse there but if you're stuck here this is a decent alternative if you want to grind for CP and other things at the same time uh, there's another place that I would recommend later on uh, you can farm Gil and uh, some other uh, catalysts if you know what I mean viewers and this game it reminds me of what I like about the PSP already because I can install the game on my memory stick and I don't have to worry about load times or at least not nearly as much as I've had to do in the past so that's pretty nice yeah the game I installed it was oh you know what I gotta go in the middle there yeah, the game I installed on my PSP was uh, the Final Fantasy IV Collection. Yeah, I know. What a shock that I actually bought that. I was going to save it for later, you know, but it just kept on grinding at my head. Like, come on, H.C. Bailey. You know you want it. You know you're going to buy it sooner or later. You might as well buy it now. Come on. I'm going to keep on grinding at you like that. Yeah, so I had to get it. I'm not playing it too actively right now. I've I've got other games on my plate, but, you know, whenever I'm bored and just need to kill, like, half an hour or something like that, I'll just pop it in. So, I still need the UMD to play the game, though. At least, I think I do. I don't think I can run it straight off the stick without... Ah, I don't know. Whatever. I'm new to the whole PSP thing. Yeah, I'm a little behind on the times, but... Sure, we'll cut in. Why not? Um... Do I even need lightning? No, no, not really. Let's go with that one. Okay, uh, did I get all the chests? One, two, three, four. Yes, okay, we got them all. And I think I killed all the guys on the way. Well, there we go. Oh, another dead end. Uh, lightning, it's your turn. Go talk to a wall. <clears throat> hmm, you don't have the magic touch, do you? Maybe I ought to call my brother. He's got the magic touch. So close. What do you mean you're we'll so close? We'll find another way in. There's no time for that. We have to think irrationally. Use the selfie approach. Just bang on it long enough. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good at all. Kind of sounds like boss time. You ain't catch a beat, hero? Huh? Pretty lame. Sounds familiar. <laughs> hey, Snow? Hey, hey they're alive! <laughs> we haven't seen you guys since... Guys! Uh, the first hour in the game. So, Snow, you're a pulseless sea now, huh? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, got this goofy-looking tattoo. It's even gotten why didn't you tell us? Why the hell didn't you come and find us? Uh, I was on another planet, dude. Yeah, we've been waiting. Us and the rest of the Purge fugitives. <laughs> what, they got a list? Why, well, I suppose they do. Damn, those pulse foul C sure know how to pick them. Yeah, ah, I just happened to knock on the door. Out of all the idiots in the world, they choose this one. Oh, hey, hey, now wait just a minute here. <laughs> I am your fearless leader. You're not supposed to laugh at the boss. Yeah, I just go ahead and use Stugar! Just like old times, huh, boss? Don't you worry. We'll take care of the civilians. And you concentrate on saving Cocoon. How do they we know all, all about together. this? Oh, right. Standard rule of RPGs. As we all know, news travels faster than you do. <laughs> now, what's our motto? That's I'll see you in a match for Nora! We just kind of changed that on the spot. Don't worry about Hope, he's over that now. Thank God. It's nice that they uh, let, gave these guys, I don't know if you call it a cameo, but you know, a quick little appearance here, and uh, you know what? I don't think we ever see them again now that I think about it. Huh. Well, it's nice that they, you know, reminded us that they were around at some point in the game earlier, and they didn't matter much then either. But, well, there we go. No, change perspective. There you go. Alright. 
We could use the save point here, but let's head on over there to grab that treasure. How's it going? How are you going to do that? Oh, well, I suppose not. Well, let's see what we can do when we get there. But here we get my favorite weapon for Saz, the Antares Deluxe. Whatever, however you pronounce it. But anyway, uh, the reason I like it, it gets the chain bonus boost, and it can also synthesize the ATB bonus ability with the Aurora Scarf or the Sprint Shoes. So, yeah, that's really nice for Saz. Eventually, whenever I decide to add him into my party again, I'll upgrade that to whatever the next... Uh, this tier 2 weapon is for him, so it'll be pretty nice for him there, too. But yeah, I just think the chain boosting ability is really a lot better for him, honestly. Yeah, we can take on two of those guys at once. Why not? Are they dropping off reinforcements in the background there? No, I can't see it now. Do those Humbabas have some pulse words tattooed on their chest? It kind of looked like that. I don't know, it just had some, like, curly design or something on there. I don't know. Kind of looks like it. Looks about as goofy as that, uh, what is it called? Uh, I think my brother was calling it, like, a monkey tail goatee or something like that. I've seen that recently. It's the stupidest thing in the world. I've seen some pretty goofy, uh, goatees in my day, but I think that one takes the cake now. Please tell me that's not becoming a fad. Yeah, I could barely five-star that battle. I like how after the battle, Hope was like, just like I planned it. Unconscious! Exactly as I planned! Well, what are we stopping for? Did we make it? Oh. That looks kind of goofy. Hmm. <sighs> What is all this stuff? Is it snowing? It's reverse snow. Bizarro snow? Well, that'd be weird. Can you imagine snow if he was a bad guy? Oh, cow. Ooh, pretty diamonds. What is this stuff? You're gonna get one for Sarah. Right, snow? Oh, wow. Everyone's kind of dying around here. Huh. No blood or anything Some sort like of that. Crystal? Me oh, personally, I'm okay with that. Is Cocoon falling apart already? I don't Could care be. for the blood and gore. Maybe orphans having trouble holding things together with all this fighting going on. The clamor of this conflict rouses the maker. What? Where? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like Vigo yeah. there, doesn't We're he? We're gonna stop this ruckus soon enough. His face, I mean. Can you halt the cavalry's charge? Filled with righteousness, they will slaughter Orphan in the name of freedom. Your only recourse will be to deliver them death, swift and certain. No. Unlike you, they'll listen to reason. <laughs> Keep we telling yourself that, pass. Lightning. I shall savor the demise of Cocoon from atop the highest seat in all of Eden. Oh, okay. You too should hurry along to the heart of our grand capital. Well, we're your kind of loved there. ones miss you so. Well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Come, let's see. Fulfill your destiny. Huh? That's where we Shoot gotta destiny. go. We'll decide our own destiny. It is your right. destiny. Over Bartandalus's dead body. Maybe, uh, you know, take the robe for ourselves. It's a pretty good looking robe he's got there. Maybe it has good stats. Who knows? But anyway, if I can move the camera around, you can find that we have. You can find that we have a big freaking dinosaur over there. But there's no way we could take him on at this point, can we? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 13! This is H.C. Bailey. Signing off. Have a good day.